Alright, so this is System Era 51 here again today, and uh, interestingly enough, on the previous videos I did uh, about Blender and video editing, I got a lot of uh, que uh, I got a lot of people um, that asked me to do uh, uh, more with with Blender, and uh, I finally uh, have some time today because I'm off uh, today of work, and also I was a little bit sick in the last uh, few days, prim uh, primarily in, in the last week I had a little um, something going on in my throat which wasn't very nice, uh, but now I'm back in full swing and um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about the uh, compositor of, of Blender because uh, as you've seen in my previous videos, Blender is quite capable of um, doing video editing uh, as such, you know, with um, all sorts of wipes, uh, effects, um, picture in picture and all this kind of uh, crazy nonsense that you might want for your videos. Sorry, I'm going to drink a, a little bit here. Um, but today we're going to have another look Oh well, we're going we're going to have a look at another component of Blender that you may or may not know, and um, that uh, that component is called the uh, compositor. Yes, and uh, with the compositor, uh, you may be able to achieve um, effects such as green screening. Because um, I don't know if if some of you have seen uh, the videos I'm doing, because on some of them, um, I'm now using a green screen effect. Yeah, which is uh, I'm also doing this in German. Yeah, so uh, this is a this is a little green screen effect that I that I I'm trying to achieve in my disclosure labo laboratories videos. Um, it's uh, oops, it's not entirely perfect, but you you you, you know the camera also. Uh, I mean the camera is good, but um, the uh, green screen I'm using sometimes has issues with uh, shadows and all this crazy nonsense. So it's not entirely perfect, but I'm 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 trying to do what I can. And um, today we are going to have a look at how this is achieved in Blender because you can obviously achieve this in uh, in, in Premiere if you have this um, uh, you know on your machine you can use uh, you, you can obviously use uh, Premiere uh, for that or if you if you use a Mac um, you can do this with uh, Final Cut Pro and uh, Motion I think it's called um, these are the uh, two tools that would be um, doing this stuff on your PC or Mac respectively. Uh, I, I think on the PC if you have Premiere um, you can also get something, it's called After Effects which uh, does a lot more than uh, Premiere's uh, built-in effects. But now let's get to the to the beef of today and we are going to use a different view than, um, than this one but we're going to have to use the timeline uh, I'll show you why later and today we are not going to use any 3D crazy nonsense so we can also delete the cube. Uh, in fact we can delete everything in the scene because um, we don't need any of that for 2D compositing. Uh, which is why we are now going to switch to a, another view and this view is uh, is, um, is called something and it's called node editor. Yeah, in the note editor, you see right now you see nothing. All right, you can you can move you can drag this view around, but it will not do very much. Um, in in Blender, it works with nodes. Yeah, and we can also uh, move all this view out of the screen because we don't particularly need that. I I think we can also try to uh, eliminate this view for the moment. If that's uh, possible at all, but I don't think it is because you would have to merge the views. Uh, oops, I didn't. Uh, I kind of did something that uh, looks really weird right now because I didn't. I, I I didn't. I didn't want to split the views, so um, I'm not sure how you can split how, how you can split that back. So let's just move it out of the view uh, for the moment. Um, that was I I I I, I do apologize. Sorry. Anyways, we are in the note editor here, and uh, the first thing you want to do is on on this lower part here, you want to say uh, node tree type, which uh, is what you really want. 
right so uh here you can enable the backdrop uh if you want to use that uh, which might be quite interesting and i'll show you why later uh use notes obviously we want to use notes there we go we have two uh, default nodes uh free unused obviously very important if you delete nodes uh like so um the memory that uh, was occupied by these nodes is is being released which is uh, obviously something that you want to do if you don't necessarily have a machine like like I do because this is start 8 by the way I'm using Windows 8 and this is uh, called start 8 buy it five bucks it's you know if you like your start menu um, from Windows 7 you may want to have uh, and you want to have this back then uh, five bucks isn't a very huge investment to make um, I also heard that Microsoft is going to uh, reintroduce the start menu where you on the left have this uh, normal stuff and on the right side you have crazy nonsense like live tiles, you know, and this crazy bullshit, but, you know. But I, I was going to say, if you don't have a machine like me, 8 gigabyte of RAM, uh, if you just have 4 or even sometimes 2, then uh, it's always good practice to enable free unused because this will free up a lot of memory. Um, a backdrop is something that you want to consider using because backdrop, what, what this all does is that when you use nodes, uh, it will automatically render the, uh, uh, uh the, the rendered image as a backdrop, as a, as a, li like a live wallpaper on, on, on this, um, you know, uh, grid based view. Um, yeah. So, I mean, this all looks uh, all looks very boring right now and it doesn't really do much so we should actually add some nodes right uh and to do this we say a node uh no we say add and we want to have an input because that might be good maybe good to start with and i prepared a little uh, demo clip so we say uh, movie clip yeah you uh, in the beginning you can move this around in any way you like so place it somewhere uh, here and you can also zoom in if you can't necessarily read it perfectly so it's like perfectly scalable you know uh, blender is good for this dynamic rendering and this kind of uh, kind of stuff uh, so we have a movie clip uh, input node here uh, all these things don't care too much about them you say open and we say desktop and I uh, blend a tutorial and we say I, I converted it to MOV to make things easier so you say open clip boom there's me on a, a fairly cheap green screen and uh, in order to see your uh, composited view uh, which is what you may want to do you say add uh, output uh, in the moment you say viewer and there's another output that you want that you want to add later uh, viewer okay and in the viewer you want to enable use alpha because you know if you do multiple compositing uh, or compositing of multiple things um, that are layering on top of each other um, use alpha is is very important and it works like if you if you worked with reason you know the music composition tool then this will look familiar to you because you you go for the this is the uh, like th this these are the outputs of your device if you want in re like if this is this were a reason device these would be the outputs and you want to drag a cable um into another input um which is this one here see and now there's me right um, you can also say uh, the, uh, you you can also define the zoom somewhere if you select your viewer node. Um, uh, if you uh, you know the options on the right will will change according to the node you are selecting. Yeah, which is v which is very nice. Um, there there was an option to zoom in and out, um, which I think is this one here. Uh, no, uh, zoom here. There we go. Zoom. See. Um, there you can adjust the uh, finished view in any way you like, right? And uh, we want to achieve um, the removal of um, the the uh, the green screen, obviously, yeah, which isn't very hard to do in Blender. So what you what you then want is to add another node which would be a, hang on, color uh, matte, no, it was matte. And uh, there you can select a number of 
um, options to to achieve that. You know, uh, we we can play around to see what's best. And I uh, I personally achieved the best results with the color key. Yeah. So if you say uh, color key, and you drag it in between the 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 cable you just uh, created, and put your new node here, your device if you want. Um, then it will, you know, it it always starts in the in with the inputs, and goes through the steps to reach its destination. So here's the input. The next thing it would be, it would be doing is color keying. Yeah, uh, I I hope that makes sense in in some way. Um, the next thing you want to do is then obviously choose your color key color. Yeah, and it's always good to practice uh, to select uh, one of the darker shades of the color you want to remove, um, like so, for example, boom. And you can already begin to see that it starts to recognize um, green parts, and y and then you can begin to you know play around with these sort of settings to achieve your green screen desired effect. Like so, uh, you can see it's not entirely perfect, but it's already a good start from 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 the beginning. So you know, yeah, you really have to be careful with the settings here, um, because sometimes it's not necessarily perfect. You can already see that I'm starting to disintegrate here. Um, you know, maybe if you sort of. Uh, change the color, which is not going to work now, obviously. Um, if you don't want to use this uh, node or reset, you just do this and it will be begin again, you know, key color. Uh, if you want to choose another color, say here, for example, and then you can drag this cable from the output here, uh, image, and then you say you, you drag the output image into this image and you can see there are some better results. Uh, you really have to uh, play around with this um, to achieve... Whoa! Uh, <laughs> eyes without a face. Um, to achieve the desired effect, you know, it's not, it's not always easy to do with this color key. Um, so let's see. Oops. Yeah, that's right. So if we add another sort of matte thing, let's say um, channel key, which oftentimes works better than the uh, color key. So image, drag this here and drag this here. See? Uh, and now you can begin to to try to, you know, low and you see it's a lot smoother and a lot better than the other effect. So, you know, like this, I, I think I'm pretty happy with this for this demo. Um, usually it it ends up around being at the 0.98 or 0.97 range at which you achieve a lot of interesting effects. And um, if you zoom in, you will see that um, it's not transparent. See, I'm not transparent, it's just trying to um, make the best out of the situation, right? Uh, and since this is filmed in a room, you also want to remove all the other bullcrap, right? So you say add, um, uh, and it's distort, uh, crop, yeah? So you put a crop here and it will automatically remove everything. So first you have to, you know, pump these up a lot and then um, you know see left we can now start to uh, do this up would be probably hang on oh no uh, down see uh, like like so we also want to remove the couch like this and uh, right would be uh yeah like so see here we go so we now have myself pretty perfectly cropped i'd say um there's another feature that you might want to use um which is called color spill yeah so if you go add a color uh no i think it was matte um color spill which you would put at the end of the line most probably, um, and you can say, 
you know if you if you pump this ratio up or down you can achieve more realistic coloring effects like so see uh, unspill do uh, doesn't do very much so unspill actually makes it worse so you it sometimes depends on what you want to achieve yeah so if you do this you will you see um, you get a lot nicer color effects um, if you then want to go and make it a bit better you can say add um, color and maybe uh, add other things to your liking say uh, brightness contrast you could put that here and you know uh, play around with the contrast if you know if that's what you like to do see um, it's it's really up to do I'm just gonna leave that here for for per for you know demo purposes and uh, the next step that you that you uh, may want to do um, before uh, you do any of the color spilling stuff um, because I want myself to be uh, more uh, moved to the right and we will do that in, in a moment and um, I also want to have a uh, another input uh, let's say movie clip and we say open I'm going into my um, uh, folder for disclosure labo laboratories um, documents disclosure laboratories uh, media and it's called um, I think it's called backdrop animation idle TV uh, let me check that real quick yes it is and you say open clip and there you can see it's um, it's a little uh, anime a little studio backdrop animation here which doesn't really look good right now but okay um, the next thing uh, oops use alpha of course uh, the next thing you want to do is that um, you know if I were you, you right now you can only use one layer which is really bad so you say um, where it was uh, there is something which is called uh, hang on a second uh, output um, there is alpha over exactly uh, yes you need this color alpha over okay uh, and you will uh, this allows you to effectively uh, combine two layers yeah so if you now take this one here um, the, the the last output okay let's move this here uh, let's move this here alpha over um, if you take the last output the last step of your process and connect it to here yes and then you take your secondary image uh, image here okay and another thing you want to enable in the alpha over nodes is convert premul premul pre multiply I never knew what that word means convert pre, pre multiply yes you enable this because without this it, you will get some very interesting alpha mixing effects that will mess up your your image so if you do this uh, image here uh, now you can see uh, the backdrop uh, so you will probably have to switch these around and there we go so now you can see that there's something quite wrong with the uh, uh, with this one here so if you you know reduce this a little bit like so uh, it, it comes back into the picture but sometimes you know you have to um, experiment around on on these values to to make this uh, to make this better and uh, sometimes it also helps to you know uh, play around with these algorithm slots because it may you know uh, increase your um, uh, your results sometimes it's also good to you know switch around between these and uh, see what's gonna happen you know um, it's, it's sometimes it's like that you really have to um, play around with the values uh, in such a way that uh, you remove all the green parts it's it's not always easy as you can see here but you you know you get the idea if you play around with these settings let's try to see if we can make this perfect here oh uh, no not this one not this one. Oh, that looks good that's that's slender man you know whoa I'm ghost 
Um, you know, it's uh, sometimes it helps to to do this channel keying thing and to you know play around with these settings. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't. It's it's like very fine tuning effect at some point um, that you want to play around with. Sometimes you have to say like G and limiting channel is red uh, for some weird hilarious reason. But this seems to be a good um, good setting here. Almost almost. It's it's not always perfect. You know. Let let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can um, make this a bit better here, but it doesn't really look like um, Maybe it's also be maybe we should try. Uh, it's a shadow. See it's a, there's a shadow here um, Let's see if we if we remove the channel key and um, say add uh, matte and say um, chroma key because sometimes this is also a good way to achieve that yes so we want to have a key color, let's say, uh, like a green, but a darker green. Um, uh, it would be good to be able to select a color now because let's just uh, connect these two. And then um, it already takes into, uh, into account these kind of things. So if you want to Let's say um, <laughs> let's say let's remove the color spill and the brightness and contrast for now, and just uh, connect that here so we can get the original color here. Um, key color. Uh, this is good because now you can uh, play around with these settings and see uh, this in a live environment. You know, like so. Um, fall off. Uh, fall off should be like this. Acceptance. Maybe a bit lower. Uh, not quite. No, cut off. No. So this is not necessary. Okay, so chroma key is not necessarily something you want in this scenario. Matt, uh, let's say. Um, I never tried. Uh, I I never tried keying because it's it's very complicated. This kind of node. So. Uh, I, I didn't really use that. Um, color, uh, no, matte. Um, color key always seems to be the best choice uh, in, in these scenarios. Um, so I, I think for the moment crop um, left, maybe a little bit less. You know, like this. And up, uh, no, down. Yeah, let's remove that a little bit, like the like this. Okay. Um, dun, 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 uh, key color. Let's say something along the lines of this, and um, let's try to fiddle around with the settings here, like so. Ah, uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. This is this is this isn't necessarily bad, but also it isn't good. Uh, but you can try to, you know, not remove everything but just a part because that may help you if you want. Let, let's say this this looks really messy. So let's say add um, mat uh, channel key. Put that here. Um, let's see. And this is going to be a lot better, it seems. But also it will make me a lot more transparent, which is not necessarily something we want. So, uh, but if you have a more perfect green screen, um, red, green, blue, no. If you have a better green screen than I do, then uh, this may actually be of uh, use to you. Sometimes it also helps not to remove, uh, not to have high to 1.0. See, uh, you get a lot of better results with this. A lot better results. Let's just say this. This is perfect. I'd say. Um, I, I I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. And if you say add um, um, where's Matt? Color spill. You put that here, uh, and you reduce the color here. 
then you can see it's it's looking quite nice at this point and it, 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 you don't have as rough of edges as before um so these are tricks you can utilize in 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 the uh, compositor yeah uh, another thing that you may want to do uh, right away before you do any color processing is add distort translate uh, like this and then you can move myself uh, like so but it will also see it will it, it 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 has an effect on on the cropping so but this is this is not a problem because you can you know adjust these to your liking see like this and uh, then also what i want is to have a oops uh hang on right should be like this see and uh, then you can go and uh, maybe because my legs are not entirely visible which is really bad so input uh image and this is where it gets complicated because now you want you have three layers yeah and the image is going to be open uh disclosure laboratories and it's going to be the desk that i use that's uh, ray traced it's just a png file and uh you want to um you want you want to have another alpha over node which is add uh color alpha over and you want to uh, at this point, you you really want to think what you're going to do, yeah. So uh, the desk should be coming next, um, you know, over the existing uh, layering, yeah. So you want to have alpha over in this here, okay, and you want to have the image going in here, and that's it. See. This is pretty much a good replication of what I'm doing uh, normally with my video editing. And in the timeline here, you can obviously uh, already preview your material, uh, which looks really, really nice, if I uh, may say so myself. And uh, then obviously, if you're happy with everything that you're doing, um, then you can go back into your... Or maybe you can also go and... Um, and pull up a properties panel like so here yeah uh say uh properties which is here uh where you select your uh rendering preferences say 1280 uh by 720 you increase that to 100 percent uh frame rate is 25 uh, uh, anti aliasing you don't need uh, you, you select all the bullshit that you would normally select uh, say H264 or XVID uh, you select your output folder which is desktop and uh, this one here um, except and uh, that's pretty much it and if you if you uh, display say keep your eye and if you're happy with with that um, with all your work um, then you can so, uh, you can say uh, no render. Oh yes, no render output node in scene. Obviously, um, very important because oh, I almost forgot that. Um, right now we only have a viewer here, so w this uh, lets us view the output uh, in our compositor. Yes, but you also want to add output uh, composite. Yeah which is exactly the same as the viewer, except that this one is going to be your render destination. This is going to be um, what you're going actually going to render into a file. Yeah, this is exactly the same. So if I switch somewhere like here, um, you see it will change the image uh, like it does in the viewer. And if you say animation, it will start to render your images as you can see in the timeline. And um, that's that's pretty much it. Yes, uh, there's not much else uh, to to say about this. This is uh, another thing that you can do with uh, video editing um, uh, and uh, and Blender. Okay, so we now have a, a little bit of material here, which is about two seconds. It's now being uh, it's now re it's now rendering, and um, I hope this was helping you a little bit with. 
um, uh, another component in Blender that you can use f uh, to your liking. Um, and obviously then uh, with the finished file you can go and do your normal uh, video editing. Yeah, which is, uh, I'm not going to go into that, but you know, if, if you want to know how that works with video editing, you can view the other video that I did, which amazingly has over 20,000 views, and I don't know how that happened, uh, but I'm uh, very grateful for your support and uh, and interest into the subject and this uh, little stupid video I did. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it for the moment. I hope you like this, and uh, I'll see you again uh, next time. All right, thanks. See ya.